welcome this is the energy vibration for the Capricorns I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for this wonderful support that you have been giving me welcome all newcomers um, welcome to um, all my subscribers and I want to apologize for um, the people who have reached out for me for reading and the reading was um, the reading was late or it didn't come on because I was moving and I was sick so um, um, my apologies I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for the support the wonderful support that you have been sending my way all you Capricorns out there yay 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 to our Capricorns and our birthdays are coming up so this is going to be good it is the week of um, um, is the week of um, whatever that was unjust is going to um, be um, in justice it's going to be balancing out in this week so it's going to be good so congratulations for that it is a hair week with the zodiac energy of water okay hair and water these are two elements that don't really go together but for you as I'm looking at your week it's going to be wonderful your focus um, is the focus of the Knight of Cups and whenever I said that this is your focus that is what is going to affect most of your lives so if you know someone between the ages of 20 and 40 um, this is a knight and this is someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and this focus um, for some some people you are going to be connecting with this person um, for some people this person is going to play a significant role in your life um, for some people maybe this is on the work floor maybe this is in your private life whatever the situation is this person or this energy of this person some of you are going to take it on in the beginning of the week you have you begin the week with a wheel of fortune so whatever is happening for you on Monday it's gonna be good Tuesday is going to be a good day too because you have the six of coins whatever you decide to do in this week um, Monday is the good day to do it um, on um, the crowning of your reading is the seven of swords in reverse so whatever that was stolen from you is going to be returned to you then you have the ten of, of um, the ten of ones um, as, as if Thursday it's like a burden but it's not really a burden maybe you need to get some work off and that sort of a thing or maybe there are situations that comes up that you need to deal with Friday is a wonderful day you have the nine of Pentacles another good day so Monday Tuesday and Friday is going to be extremely positive Monday Tuesday and Friday is going to be extremely positive the weekend you have fire and water in the weekend so you have um, on Saturday at the energy of the devil in reverse which is extremely good when the devil comes up in reverse and Sunday it's going to be a really 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 intuitive day it's going to be a psychic day for a lot of you on Sundays it's as if your psychic is a three times the energy vibration of how it normally flows okay so we're going to look to see what's happening um, for you Capricorns in this week so the week is going to begin extremely good the week is going to begin extremely extremely good um, Thursday is going to be one of those days that you have to find inner strength um, because of certain things that is happen you have to find inner strength and you have the ten of ones coming up so whoever this person is it's going to have an effect in your life it's, it's, it's as if this person is going to put a burden on you um, because um, this week is this is the focus and it's as if he is going to try and put a burden on you or something um, that is going to make you feel um, burdened it's as if he wants to get something done or he's pushing you to do something but you know um, whatever the situation is you are going to realize that um, it's it's going to be okay sometimes these things do happen okay um, let me look because I'm going to 
first um, um, look at your number energy vibration because a lot of people miss um, the numbers in the week. So a lot of people um, buy the lottery in this week, you Capricorns, whatever is happening buy the lottery in this week it is very important to buy the lottery in this week you have the five of swords you're going to have conflicts with someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius okay there's gonna be conflicts with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so be aware of this because the energy is here it can be and it it, it can happen and it so, and for some people it can happen for some people it won't happen this is a general reading so it will resonate with some people and it won't resonate with some people okay so let's look at your week don't know what it is but Monday you have the energy of the world and the wheel of fortune you Capricorns whatever is happening congratulations and yes 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 whatever you decide to do on Monday go ahead and do it because you have the support of the world and you have the support of the wheel of fortune these two cards beginning your week your week is going to be a week a fantastic week this is going to be um, your wishes and dreams are coming true an end into a situation and a new beginning to a new and a better better situation that is going to be entering in your life whenever these two cards comes up it's as if whoa all that was happening is going to um, just end if you were in a positive situation the wheel of fortune is going to bring you everything that you have um, desire and the world is here so this is going to be positive in whatever way you look and see um, it's as if your fortune your destiny your luck is coming out on Monday so whatever you had wished for it's going to happen on Monday on Tuesday we have the six of Pentacles which is another wonderful energy it is the supporting energy of you Capricorns because you're an earth sign whatever is happening on Tuesday you're going to be receiving money um, or help it can be money for some people and it can be help for some people and um, whatever is happening this uh, um, Queen of Cups is in the reverse form she is in a reverse form so on Tuesday it is as if whoever the Queen of Cups was um, maybe she was working against you and on Tuesday this is going to end because she's in the reverse form and looking uh, upside down and in the other way so whatever that was happening maybe she has been trying to you know stop your growth of progress or trying to break your step or whatever she was doing and um, the energy of the six of Pentacles is very good because the six of Pentacles is always that you're giving or you're receiving or you're balancing out situation so whatever that was happening with the Queen of cups and I'm going to um, try and figure and uh, try and ask the angel what the Queen of cups what situation was happening with the Queen of cups um, and it's as if she was trying to break your stride is someone who you work with or someone who is trying um, who see the good that you're doing and trying to break your stride but whatever she thought she could have done it's not going to happen um, for some people maybe you used to give a lot to this person and you decide to stop it can be giving your energy it can be um, be nice to this person and you decide that this person is not really a nice person for me to waste my energy on and um, this is a good way to just stop your crowning of the week is the seven of sword and this is good because it's in the reverse form the seven of swords is deceit deceit and lies and stealing um, and this is something that was happening to you um, without you knowing so it's as if you could be at your work and um, or you could be somewhere or you go somewhere and uh, uh, it, most of the time these things happen at your work and people do not believe it that other people wants to know your business they will you know you will leave your phone on the desk and they will look in your phone or they will go in your bag and yes it does happen okay so it is a situation where whatever that was happening the stealing that was going on or whatever um, you know it could be someone also you know bringing news gossiping and, and, and everything that you do and say this person is bringing it back and it's also that someone could be 
um, enter in your house but it's something that is been stolen from you it can be your energy it can be things and it can be um, position and that sort of a thing and it has to do with the Queen of Cups and I'm getting this as a work situation with some people that there is someone at your work that was being very deceitful and the deceitfulness because she's in the reverse and the deceitfulness is over okay you have the energy of the eight of cups this is good because the eight of cups is that you're moving away from whatever deceitfulness lies and stealing that was going on because obviously someone was doing this to you without you even knowing and maybe you have an inkling because we um, Capricorns always have an feelings not to trust certain people and maybe you see this and you know and you just left it because you think I'm not wasting my energy on this if um, people um, or carrying a lower energy and doing these sort of a thing because whenever you're going to go in someone else's um, personal space and someone else's thing looking for what you have not placed in um, you know it's really sick you know it's really sick so um, maybe um, you you know kind of see that something was happening but you kind of like you know I'm, I'm really not going there that's when I said I'm not going there it's like I refuse to go and um, vibrate with someone who is doing something like that because obviously that person um, don't need my energy or that sort of a thing and that is what you have been thinking because you realize you know sometimes you meet people and you know at the first point I need to be aware of this person I need to keep away from this person because this person is a deceitful person and this is exactly what um, play out and now you're walking away and you're leaving the situation behind because obviously on Tuesday something happened that you realize that yeah I got you I knew you were doing this you know um, and, and and that sort of a thing on Thursday it's as if you have a burden it's as if uh, whatever that um, happened um, you have you know you have gotten extra work it's as if uh, they say that you know that person is leaving and uh, you are going to be receiving extra hard, uh, work and hours so don't see it as a burden just find inner strength ask the angels and guide um, for divine inner strength and this is going to happen because um, you are going to receive this um, inner strength to finish off what you need to do and I'm going to ask um, and find out what is this um, burden that you need in a strength because the ten of ones is always burden so obviously um, I'm seeing that is something that was happening at your work and whatever that transpired this um, Queen of um, Cups is out it's, it's as if she's out or they're letting her go or something like that and they want um, to see if you can take over so let's see on Thursday what is happening for the Capricorn with the burden and inner strength yes it's good um it's good it's good it's good because what is happening um, the burden and you finding the inner strength the Sun is going to come out so positive energy so it's going to be a positive um, situation whatever has transpired um, you are going to win the situation Thursday is going to be a good day because um, information and situation will be falling on you the energy of the Sun is um, success Thursday is going you're going to see that you have come through and you're going to be very successful the energy of the Sun um, is success even though you have the inner strength you must look for the inner strength here we go on Friday we have the nine of Pentacles isn't that wonderful on Friday you receive the nine of Pentacles and you're seeing clearly now your financial situation is coming in balance um, good things are going to be happening for you finally you are at the end and you have succeed you are receiving money money is coming at you and whatever that has been transpiring and happening without you knowing you are going to find out on Friday on Friday you're going to find out on Saturday you air sign seems uh, earth sign seems to be doing something good because um, you guys on Saturday um, decide to um, 
choose a new part in your life. So yeah. So here we go. The energy of the devil in reverse on Saturday is a wonderful, wonderful um, situation. With the energy of the devil being reversed on Saturday, what this is saying is that whoever and whatever that was holding you back, whatever, because whoever that was stealing or deceiving you um, is, is in the reverse. So um, this person is going to be out of your life or this situation or this person people is going to be out of your life and you are going to begin on a new journey which is wonderful because obviously whoever this queen of cups was uh, she is now in the reverse form she is definitely in the reverse form and you this she was playing the devil advocate and now she's in reverse and you are going and leaving this behind and you decide to move on and there is no no blockage no situation normally sometimes you see the fool and there's a snake at his foot but this no this is a good journey this is a good part that you're deciding to take because as you look you see this person moving forward the flowers at his feet and the dog is right behind him so that means that you're going to be protected on your journeys there's going to be blue skies um, the clouds are lifting and you are moving to something much better in your life on a new part and this is going to be good so this is wonderful on Sunday it's going to be a very psychic day whatever is happening to you on Sunday it's going to be extremely a psychic day and this has to do with the lovers Wow so a lot of you are going to be connecting with the lovers on Sunday this energy of uh, the moon with the lovers is a positive energy because obviously um, this has to do with that you are getting the message a psychic message from and you're connecting with your partner and it's as if the universe is helping both of you to connect together it's as if the universe is showing you that this is the right person for you it's as if the universe is saying this is who you have chosen to um, you know do the rest of your journey with and yes go ahead it is a yes okay because the energy of the lovers with the moon especially this moon is as, as, as if if you are connected with a cancer um, if you're connected with a cancer especially the people who have relationship with the cancers is a positive good relationship this is the relationship for you this is what the universe have sent to you because they know that this person whoever they are it's going to be very good for you this is who they have and you have chosen and maybe you're not aware of it and now they're saying yes we're giving you the go ahead this is the person this is a person you should be with okay and I'm getting the, the, the cancers whoever is connected with a cancer man or woman this is the relationship for you this is the way you should go so overall even though on Thursday it looks as if yeah the ten of ones because the ten of ones is always like endings to situation so it's not always and you know it's not really the end of the week so I wouldn't say that it's an ending to a burden but on Thursday maybe you have to do a whole lot but you're going to be um, it's as if people are going to think oh my god that is so good she really gets it off it's as if somebody asks you to do something and um, they're going to be oh my god look at that she really you know got it off and you know you know thank you so it's going to be as if you're under stress on Thursday but after you find the inner strength to, to do whatever it is that you need to do on Thursday you're going to realize that um, it's going to be yield in so many ways because you have the energy of the Sun so don't worry about Thursday because I was a little bit worried when I saw the ten of ones and you have to find inner strength but the energy of the Sun comes out and saying that with um, the burden that you're feeling go find the inner strength because it's going to bring you success okay whatever um, that you feel burdensome about on Thursday go ahead it's going to bring you success so let's look at your week and break down your week your reading is always a little bit longer um, 
um, in the, the first half of the week, you have the energy because it's a week of um, whatever that was stolen, whatever deceitful thing that was going on is coming to an end. So it's as if things were going on that you weren't aware of and these were deceitful and it can have to do with um, um, people around you. But whoever this person was, it could be, I'm getting the energy that this woman was a scorpion who you were dealing with, whatever it was, and money is going to come to you because um, it's as if she lied about something or she did something. She tried to block your progress or whatever, but she's now in the reverse and I'm getting a scorpion. So it could be a scorpion for some people. It could be a cancer for some people, but I'm getting the strong energy vibration of a scorpion woman that was doing something against you. But anyway, whatever she did, it, it came out that it was a karmatic situation and it's come to an end and something much beautiful and much successful is going to come in because you have the world and the sun. The world and the sun is diagonal over your reading, which is just so positive, so good. And this is going to be so super, super, super wonderful for each and every person. Okay. Um, on Saturday, you decided to go on a new journey because this woman is in the reverse form. So it's as if she's out of your life. She has no more effect on your life and you're moving forward. And um, on Sunday, um, whatever you questions you had about your relationship, the answers are going to be coming. And this is only for the people who are with the Cancers, okay? Because the Cancers and the Capricorn are compatible. It's the right marriage partner. It's the right person to be in a relationship with. I couldn't understand that, but I should say, because in the year reading, I was saying, like, I don't understand... Um, the, the cancers and the, and the Capricorns, because I don't see the compatibilities. But um, to be honest, I have, um, I have the, the experience of connecting with a cancer man, and because I always dislike them for some reason. But this is and has become a very good friend. And this person basically is, yeah, I could see, yeah, the connection why cancers and Capricorns because we both our parents are very important to us no matter whatever is going on and our family is very important to us and that I can respect someone who um, realized that respect to their parents and whatever is happening for their parents is very important so and they're very hard-working people because you know that is one of the most important thing because Capricorn people are hard-working people and these people are hard-working people. So, you know, that was good. So at least I could, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I, I'm suspicious of everything around me. And um, I wanted to know, because I, um, I study people and see and study their characteristics. So at least I got a message about how the Cancers and the Capricorn, because I, I just, Zodiac-wise, I couldn't understand that. But yeah, it is coming. Okay, let's look at what you have. New life. And it is a new life. So this week for you, Capricorn, is going to be really a new life, a new endeavor. You are going to feel the changes coming in. And this is going to be good for you guys because obviously there was someone, a Cancer, uh, a Scorpion. Uh, um, I, and, and I'm feeling a strong feeling of a Scorpion that was blocking most of you and finally and was deceiving you and finally this is all over and this is good this is good get rid of the deceiving person and whatever and whoever that person is that was been so deceiving birth of new ideas growth opportunity a breath of fresh year life renewing itself so whoever that person was who was blocking your progress finally they're out of your life so this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive so ladies and gentlemen i am wishing you a wonderful week and namaste until next week please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign and share these videos and thumbs up namaste yeah.